Welcome back to the 30 day beginner yoga challenge. Today we are going to focus on pigeon pose. So we're going to do some work on opening, stretching and strengthening our hips. We're going to start off in bound angle pose, soles of the feet together, knees coming out wide. Have a little shuffle from side to side, get yourself comfortable. Maybe test moving your feet a little closer, maybe they need to be further away. Maybe you need to have something supporting your legs here if you're feeling a bit tight and this one is not very comfortable for you. So adjust yourself, figure out where you are in the pose and then either extending up tall, inhale, exhale, tilt ever so slightly forwards or just stay upright or even take your hands back and lean back a little bit. So sit yourself tall, whichever option you're doing, relax the shoulders, softly close your eyes over. We're gonna tune in with our breath here. So we're just gonna pause, focus on the inhale and the exhale, and let the body relax. So as you inhale, you lengthen and sit tall. As you exhale, feel your legs relax, feel your knees drop down. And then repeating that with every breath. And then as we sit here, I'll just make a few points to remember as we go through the class today. So I want you to always be mindful and listen to your own body. As you look at me, I'm going to show you some different stretches and different options and then I'm going to demonstrate the pose. But don't feel like you have to make yourself look like how I'm looking. So for example, in this pose here, I look like this, you may look completely different. You may have your knees a lot higher, you may have your hands back behind me, you may be more flexible than me and have your chest coming further down, your knees may touch the floor, your knees may be right up here. So you're just going to focus on what feels good, easing in and out of all the poses carefully. Take one more breath here. And then slowly relax, support your knees, bring them back together, cross your legs over. You're going to take the right foot on top and then you're going to either hug your foot into the crease of your left elbow and then wrap your right arm around so you're hugging your leg up towards your chest. Or if that doesn't work, you're just going to slide the leg down and hold wherever you can. And we're going to rock the leg from side to side. So we're going to sit tall and then start to twist from the waist, rocking from side to side. Fingers can be interlaced or you can hold one hand with the other hand. Keep the chest tall, keep the shoulders coming back and down. Take one more deep breath and then gently lower your leg and then we'll switch over, take the left foot on top, hug into the right arm, left arm wraps around at the knee, sit yourself tall and then start to twist from the waist, rocking from side to side, remembering always this is what I'm doing, you may be doing something like this, just work with where you're at at the moment. And one more deep breath and then we'll gently lower that leg down really carefully, lower down and then come onto your hands and your knees. So you're going to swing your legs behind you, come onto hands and knees, extend your left leg back, inhale, extend, exhale, bring your knee up towards your left elbow, inhale, extend, exhale back to the left elbow. We can do that three times, so inhale, extend exhale back in and then you're going to lower back to hands and knees and go on to the right side so inhale extend exhale up to the elbow inhale extend exhale to the elbow one more time go your own pace and then coming back to your hands and knees and then we're going to do that from a plank so you're going to walk your feet back feet hips distance apart find your strong core Lift your left leg up, inhale, exhale, bring your knee to your elbow, inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. You can do this with your right knee rested, exhale to the elbow, 
inhale, extend back to plank, either on your toes or on your knees. So onto the right leg, inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale to the elbow, final one, and then come into your downward facing dog. Hips coming up and back, holding there in your downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out through the feet. Shift your weight from one side to the other. And then push both heels equally down. Take some long deep breaths. And then we're gonna lift up alternating legs. So you can do this from downward facing dog or you can do it from hands and knees. So we're just gonna inhale, right leg up. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. And then just keep going with the breath. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Do a few more on each side. Finishing off on your left leg or the opposite leg that you started. And then drop to child's pose. So drop your knees and tuck your toes. Sit yourself back, fold over. Take a few deep breaths, relax your arms. and then come back into your downward facing dog. So rolling yourself up, tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back. Extend your right leg up into the air, bend your knee, and then gonna lift the hip out to the side. So point your knee up towards the ceiling and open up through the right hip. And then you're going to close the hips so they become in line with one another again. And then open back up. And then do that one more time each way. Back to downward facing dog. Bend your left leg, extend your foot up. And then start to stretch your knee up into the air. So you open your hip. And then take your hips back in line with one another. Extend your knee up, try to stack your left hip above the right, and then back to neutral. One more time each way. Back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg comes up into the air. As you exhale, look between your hands, bring your knee forward and take your knee up behind your right wrist, and then take your foot behind your left wrist. Gently lower your left knee to the floor. So you end up with your shin coming across your mat. And then if this is already a stretch here, just hold there. If you're able to, you're gonna slide your left foot back a little bit. Hold there, see how that feels. Maybe you need to stay there. Maybe you can slide your left foot back a little bit more. Hold there, maybe that feels good and that's where you're gonna stay. And then you're just gonna keep repeating that until you can't go any further or until your hips come down to the floor. Make sure your hips stay level so your right hip is gonna to want to sink down and your left hip is gonna to want to lift and you want to avoid that. So make sure your left and right hips stay neutral. Lift up through the chest, take a deep breath. And then take your hands forwards, take your forearms to the floor, rest your elbows, interlace your fingers, make yourself comfortable, and then pause there. So we're gonna hold this position for a little while. So think back to what option you've chosen. Maybe you need to reset and choose one that's a little bit higher so that you're comfortable staying here for a little while. So again, remembering what I said at the beginning, you choose the option that feels best for you. You don't worry about what I look like. So I'm just demonstrating the full pose here. Take a few deep breaths. Just 
just holding there. I'll show you some different options that you might look like. So maybe you've got your knee in a little closer and you're folding over like this and your elbows can take a little bit more weight and there's less weight coming down through the hips. Maybe you're right up here and it's more comfortable for you to just stay on your hands. Relax your shoulders. Make sure you aren't holding on to te any tension in the hips. And then lift your chest slightly. Come up onto your hands. And then this option is just for those that feel really comfortable here. You're gonna bend your back knee See if you can reach round and find your foot. Pause there. Take a deep breath. And then release. So the full pose would be with your bent knee, arms coming up overhead, but that's obviously more advanced. We're doing beginner yoga here. So we're gonna just stop there. Tuck your left toes. Walk your knee further in towards the body again so your hips start to lift and then come up into downward facing dog. Pedal through your feet, shift your weight from side to side, lift your right leg up into the air, draw some circles in the air with your leg and back the other way. And then lift, lower, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, bring your leg through. So your knee is gonna go behind your left hand and then your foot is gonna come up behind your right hand. Start to gradually walk your right knee away. Easing in, carefully and slowly, stopping wherever you feel comfortable and then coming down onto your forearms. Releasing the head and holding there. Letting go, make sure you aren't holding on to any tension. Make sure you've chosen the option that feels most comfortable for you so that you're happy to stay here for a little while. Keep your right hip in line with the left so make sure you haven't rolled over to the side. Another common thing that I see is this foot is a little bit too far back. So sometimes people don't get their foot right up behind the right hand and their foot's ended up back here. It's okay if it's a little bit further back. Ideally, you're looking for parallel with the short edge of your mat, but that does take uh, require a lot of openness and flexibility. So a little bit further back is fine, but if you've ended up with it stuck under your hips, then it's gonna really stop you going into the pose properly. So make sure the hips don't have anything underneath them and they can drop down to the floor. One more deep breath here. And then lift the chest, come up onto the hands, holding just here, or you have the option to bend the right leg and reach around, find the foot, bring your chest back to the center and hold there. Slowly release and then start to inch your knee back in. So just bring the toes under, walk the knee forwards, bring the toes under, walk the knee forwards, and then step back to your downward facing dog when you're ready, pedal out through the feet. Stretch your left leg up into the air, do some big circles in the air with your left leg, and back the other way. Maybe draw a figure of eight, and then back to downward facing dog. Big breath, feel that openness in the hips, feel your whole body relax, feel the backs of the legs extend. And then come onto hands and knees, swing your legs in front of you or bring them through, take yourself down onto your back, bring the soles of your feet together and your knees out wide. So you're coming into reclined 
bound ankle pose. Let the knees just drop to the floor, palms turned up, feel everything. Let go, feel that openness within your body. Bring your knees back together. Walk your feet out wide. Have your knees dropping into the center so they support one another and your hips are now internally rotated. So moving the opposite way than we have been for most of the class. So it's always really good to do a counter stretch. If you're doing something one way, make sure you do it back the other way. Slowly walk your feet back to the centre and then bring yourself up into your seated position. So rolling up, roll to one side, rock yourself up and then sit yourself tall, roll your shoulders forwards and back. Inhale, stretch your arms out and up, exhale to your chest. Namaste.